We're going to take some notes on 6.4, exponents and division. Please write all this down in your notebook. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. I don't expect that you can do this 100%, but I do expect that you have a basic understanding of the material. So again, if you need to pause the video, you pause the video. If you have a question, write yourself a note in the side of your notebook so you can ask that tomorrow during class. So exponents and division. Just a couple reminders, 3 to the first power is equal to 3, because that means you have 3 one time. But what if I have 3 to the negative 1 power? Well, that means that I have 1 over 3, or 1 third. So remember that negative 1 power, you put your 3 in the denominator, not in the numerator. So that just means that I have 1 third. So what if I have scientific notation, 2.25 times 10 to the third? Well, that means I have 2.25, whoops, over 1,000, but I can't have a decimal in a fraction. Or I have 225 over 100,000. I can also write that as 2.25 times 10 to the 0, 0, 1. So write that in your notebook. If you have a question, write that in the side. But we're going to do some more practice problems and some more understanding. Okay, so dividing powers with the same base. You have to have the same base, just like when adding the exponents, when you're dividing, you also have to have the same base. So please write all this in your notebook. Again, if you need to pause the video, pause the video. So the first thing you're gonna do is subtract the powers when you divide. And why? Well, if I have five to the six divided by five to the fourth, you should notice I have six fives on the top, I have four fives on the bottom, and what would happen with those is that I can cross cancel a bunch of them. And what am I left with? I'm just left with two of them. So that's why we're going to subtract our power. So we want to subtract off the bottom ones from the top ones to get ourselves an answer. And what would our answer be? So I can just show the math, five to the six minus four power equals 5 squared, and that's what I just showed you as well. Okay, dividing powers. So what would I do here? 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 8th. I'm just going to subtract those powers, and I get 10 to the negative 3rd power. So again, write all this in your notebook. We're going to do some more practice. What if I have x to the 7th over x to the 5th? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to subtract my exponents. So my answer should be x squared. So this should all be in your notebooks. If you don't understand where numbers are coming from or going to, please write yourself a note so you can ask that tomorrow during class. So you're going to try this one on your own. So do all the math in your notebook and then you should see a text box on the right where you're going to give me an answer. Okay, so now check your answer. Make sure that you understand what we're doing. Again, if not, please write yourself a note. If you got it wrong, please write what you did wrong so that um, you understand your mistake. Okay, what if I have zero as an exponent? We talked about this earlier. So let's look. So if I have three to the zero, why does it equal one? Well, this is why when you subtract the exponents, you can get zero. So for example, if I have three over four over three over four, I can subtract those exponents and I get 3 to the 0 power. We know anything divided by itself equals 1. Therefore, 3 to the 0 power equals, oops, sorry, 3 to the 0 power. So therefore, 3 to the 0 power equals 1. And that is why. So again, write this in your notebooks. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. When you're ready to move on, go ahead and move on. Okay, so here's some more, some more practice. So please write this in your notebook. Example two, expressions with a zero exponent. So we need to simplify each of the following. What if I have negative five to the zero power? Well, we just figured that out. That equals one. What if I have five times y to the zero power? Well, we know y to the zero power is one. Five is still five. So five times one is five. Now, what if I have both of them to the zero power? Well, they're both equal to one, so my answer is one. Last example, 
So five to the zero power is one, and y is still y, so five to the zero power equals one. Y is still y, so my answer is just y. So write those in your notebook. If you have questions, put that on the side. We're gonna go over these tomorrow during class. Okay, for the most part, expressions cannot have a negative exponent. So what if I have two to the negative three? We looked at that earlier. I'm gonna put one over two to the third. Boy, I can do that math. That is one over eight. Okay, so write that in your notebook. If you have a question, write it on the side. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. Here's another example. X to the negative eight power, what would that be? That would be one over X to the eighth power. I can't do anything with that. Okay, another example. If I have three to the third times three to the negative fifth, well first, let's combine like terms, simplify. So remember, I'm not dividing. I'm adding those exponents, so it is three minus five which is to the negative two, which is one ninth. Why is that one ninth? Well, that would have been one third squared, which then becomes one ninth. Again, if you have questions, write those down in your notebook. Pause the video if you need to, and we're gonna do some of these practice problems tomorrow in class. All right, here you have a bunch on your own to do, so you're gonna write these in your notebook. You're gonna see a text box on the right, give me an answer. And then when you're ready to move on, move on. Okay, you're gonna check your answers. Make sure you've corrected your answers in your notebook. If you have a question, please ask that question. Write that down in your notebook. Just as if I'm there, but write it down in your notebook. Oh, and that's the end of our lecture. That wasn't too bad, so we're gonna do some practice problems tomorrow during class.